المصطفى ريحانة المصطفى ريحانة المصطفى ريحانة المصطفى ريحانة المصطفى ريحانة المصطفى Can we have the next question from the brother side? I am Mr. Kumar, a profession by teaching. Uh, this is my questions. I see in Sri Lanka and India, there are many divisions among the Muslims, but they follow the same, the Holy Quran and the follow of the uh, Hadith. The, but even though they are following the same matters, there are many divisions in Sri Lanka as well as in India. So I would like to get a better reply. I waited till the right person to come at the right time. Please go ahead. Mr. Kumar has asked a very good question. Very important question. He says that Muslims in Sri Lanka and India and other parts of the world, they believe in the same God, they believe in the same Quran, they believe in the same Hadith, but why are the different divisions, why are the different sects? The reply is given in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 103. It says, Wa tathimu bihablillahi wa Hold to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. The rope of Allah... The rope of Almighty God is the Quran. So Quran says, hold strongly to the rope of God, to the rope of Allah, the glorious Quran, and the say hadith and be not divided. So in Islam, there should not be any divisions. Furthermore, the Quran says in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 159, that, O Prophet, if anyone makes divisions, sex in the religion of Islam, O Prophet, you have nothing to do with him. Allah will look after his affair on the day of judgment. So making divisions, making sex in Islam is haram. It is prohibited. That's the reason what you find. I do know that there are many Muslims who have different, different names. But the right name you should call is only Muslim. And all Muslims should follow the glorious Quran and the Sai, sai authentic Hadith. Any scholar says anything. If it matches with the Quran and Sai Hadith, you have to follow. If it does not match, you should throw it away to make different organizations <laughs> to make different organizations some want to work in the field of education some want to work in the field of religion some want to help the poor there's no problem doing jama making different organization no problem but as a deen as a religion we cannot be divided we cannot there can be no sex the quran says you should not make sex but our beloved prophet Muhammad said it's hadith, the Sahih Hadith of Tirmidhi, Hadith number 171. Beloved Prophet said that there will be 73 sects in the religion of Islam. The Prophet did not say you should make. The Prophet, Allah says don't make, but Prophet said there will be. Unfortunately, we Muslims are divided. And the Prophet predicted that. The people asked that and the Prophet said, only one will go to Jannah. Only one will go to Paradise. The Prophet asked who? I mean the Sahabas, the companion asked who? The Prophet said, those that will follow me and will follow the Quran. That follow the Quran and my example. Today, unfortunately, we have different sects. Shia, Sunni, Hanafi, Shafi, Hanbali, Deobandi, Barevli. What was the beloved Prophet? There is no Shia Sinno in the Quran. What was the beloved Prophet? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a Muslim. The Quran says in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse number 64, muslimin. Say that I'm a Muslim. Anyone who says a Muslim, Muslim is a person who submits his will to God. Any scholar says anything. All the four great Ahmad, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi, all of the four great scholars, they said, if you find any of my fatwa, which goes against Allah and His Rasul, you throw my fatwa on the wall. Therefore, I say, whatever Dr. Zakir Naik says in Islam is zero. What I say is zero, what you have to follow is Quran and Sai Hadith. Therefore, all my answers are backed with Quran and Sai Hadith. Chapter number so and so, verse number so and so. All these four great scholars, we love them all. We respect them all. They never came to make sex or divisions. They came for people to understand the religion better. But unfortunately, the followers, they started making divisions. Unfortunately. What we have, to, any scholar says anything, if it matches with the Quran and the Sai Hadith, you obey, otherwise reject it. <laughs>